continue the next question type, we have solving simultaneous equations. So the, there are already two techniques you can use. One of them is to let, let's say for this question, we have W and Z to each be A plus B I N A, or rather no, it's A, C plus D I again. Then of course, since that's conjugate, you will then use it for the conjugate as well. So A minus B I. But this method might take long because you end up with four simultaneous equations where each simultaneous equation from here will give you two simultaneous equations because you'll be comparing the real and imaginary part. As such, you'll be using the other method where we will try to express one complex number in terms of the other and then substituting that in the other equation before we only need to let one of the complex number to be a plus bi. So I'm going to label this equation 1 and equation 2. So from equation 1, we can obtain z in terms of w. Now, we don't really want to get w in terms of z because you have w conjugate and w. All right, it can be very difficult for you. So 5 minus 5i minus 2w conjugate. Now, you can then now put in a plus bi for w, but we can leave it to the end. Substitute that into equation number 2. 2i, 5 minus 5i minus 2w conjugate equals to 3 plus 8i. All right, now we then... You can simplify first, or you can actually do both at the same time. So we're going to let W be A plus BI. We then have A plus BI plus 2I times 5 is 10I. 2I times minus 5I is plus 10. I times I is minus, or minus minus is plus. Minus 4I, now be careful, W conjugate. So if W is A plus BI, W conjugate must be A minus bi, 3 plus 8i. Now, we simplify everything. a plus bi, now bring the 10i over, so we're going to ignore that for now. Minus 4ai, i times i is minus, 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 is still minus. 4b equals to minus 10, minus 7, minus 10i, minus 2i. We now then compare real and imaginary. a minus 4b equals to minus 7, minus 4a plus b equals to minus 2. Now we then solve, we then let this times 4. We then get minus 16a plus 4b equals to minus 8. Then from here, all we need to do is get rid of b and then we solve. So we, let's say we let this be equation number 3 and equation number 4. We know that if we add these two equations, I'm going to write it on the right, we're gonna get, let's see, uh, minus 15a, a plus minus 16 is minus 15a, minus 4b plus 4b is 0, then minus 7 plus, nine, nine plus minus 8 is minus 15. From here, we know that a equals to minus 1, sorry, a equals to 1. Then from equation number 3, if a equals to 1, we know that 4b equals to 1 plus 7, we know that b equals to 2. So we know that w equals to 1 plus 2. Putting that into equation number one, noting that it is W conjugate. So we have Z equals to 5 minus 5i minus 2 plus 4i. All right. Well, minus 2 W conjugate equals to minus 2, 1 minus 2i. All right. So that's why it is minus 2 plus 4i. We know that Z is simply 3 minus i. All right. You can check your answer if you want to, but so whatever it is, these other solutions for our complex numbers, for our simultaneous equations, and really the two ways, the preferred way is really to substitute one in terms of the other, and then let one of the complex number be a plus bi.